What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be making today a recipe that is very dear to my heart. Something that I've grown up eating as a kid, uh, being from Cuba and has gotten really popular uh, all over the world and is basically uh, Cuban pork roast. The original way to do it with a little bit of a variation that I'm adding today, which is just liquid smoke because I'm making it um, in an oven here. We're not doing it outside with, originally it will be made with uh, real wood coals outside in a hole. So we're gonna be doing it in an oven. So we'll be using uh, liquid smoke. So guys, first thing we're gonna start out with here is I have um, an eight pound uh, pork shoulder. And we're gonna start out by putting some holes in the meat with uh, about a one inch uh, wide blade. So we're gonna make one inch holes. So this is where we're gonna put um, some of the marinade. We're gonna be using a, a turkey baster in this case to push some of that marinade deep into the meat. And we're just gonna make um, some incisions in different parts just to get that seasoning deep in there when we do the marinade. So that's the first. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do it on the other side, which is the fat side also. You wanna space these out. And this we're gonna leave overnight uh, marinating. And then we're gonna cook it tomorrow. Um, we're gonna cook it at uh, 300 degrees. And usually at 300 degrees is about uh, 30 minutes per pound of meat. Um, so we have here eight pounds. So this is gonna take about four hours to cook at, at that temperature. Pretty easy to remember, uh, 30 minutes at 300 degrees. So you could actually go lower in the heat and just give it more time also. So basically we have the holes there in the meat where we're gonna put our mojo, we're gonna inject it into there um, with a turkey baster. Now, if you guys don't wanna make this yourself from scratch, uh, there is a shortcut to making this with um, adobo seasoning. And this is pretty much has a lot of the ingredients. It just doesn't have the fresh garlic and stuff. But this stuff has got um, a lot of the flavoring um, that you would have with a mojo, except for the liquid element, which um, I've seen a lot of people do different things on YouTube and um, all over the place using uh, regular oranges. I've seen them using limes and uh, the original recipe in order for it to taste right you have to use sour oranges. And this is basically what they look like. Um, they call them bitter oranges or sour oranges. You can get them in a lot of um, Hispanic grocery stores. Um, so you guys wanna make sure you get these because it will make a world of difference as far as the flavor. If you use regular oranges, your marinade is gonna come out sweet. If you use limes, they're gonna come out too bitter. This is almost like right in between. It's almost like sweet and bitter at the same time. It's not quite as bitter as a lime and it's not sweet. So it's a totally different aroma, a totally different um, flavor element. So if you can get those, please make sure that you try to get, even if you use the dry adobo, um, make sure you use the sour oranges. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do this a little bit of, um, with a modern twist, we're gonna be using our Nutribullet. And if you don't have a Nutribullet, you can just smash the garlic up um, with a pestle or or just mash it with um, some kind of uh, uh, mallet or something like that um, when you do this. So basically I'm using about eight cloves of garlic here. Then I'm gonna take two sour oranges. So that's basically what they look like, uh, the sour oranges, and they have a really, really distinct smell uh, from regular oranges. I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna strain it these oranges have a lot of seeds, so you definitely want to make sure that you use a little strainer so you don't get all the seeds inside your marinade. And you guys can use this sour orange as a base for marinade for chicken breast. Um, you could use the dry adobo seasoning, just add the sour orange to it and marinate your chicken in it. It tastes amazing. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cumin, 
Normally this, this would get also bay leaves, but I don't have any here. Um, and the bay leaves don't make that huge of a difference in the flavor, so I'm not really all that worried about it. But if you guys want to make it 100% how it is, then um, go ahead and use the bay leaves. Usually what people do is break them up and stick them in the, in the holes for the marinade. Then we're going to use about two teaspoons of salt. And I'm using one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And this is all natural liquid smoke. It doesn't have any chemicals or artificial ingredients. And basically I'm using this to simulate the, the wood coals that you would normally use. It's gonna give it that, that smoky flavor. So basically we're gonna take the mixture, then we're gonna put it on our Nutribullet. So okay guys, now that it came out of the Nutribullet, it's a little bit too thick, like a little too pasty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a third sour orange to dilute it a little bit. The reason why I had to add a third one is also because these oranges are a little bit smaller and this time of year, for some reason, they don't have as much juice. Okay, so that's perfect now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my turkey baster and then in those holes that I made earlier, I'm going to go ahead and inject and then you're going to spread that. This is going to sit overnight and tomorrow we're going to cook it off in the oven. We have our pork shoulder in our mole hole right now. That seasoning is all inside of those holes that I made, the punctures and all over the meat. And it's just gonna sit uh, from tonight until tomorrow morning. And then we're gonna cook it off at uh, 300 degrees for four hours, um, slowly cook. And then um, we'll pull it out and show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so as you can see here, the pork is done. Um, it's at 160 degrees in the center and it's completely cooked through. And then basically what you guys want to do is um, go ahead and cut your, your meat however you want to use it for, um, you can serve this with salads if you're doing a low carb diet or a keto diet. You could use it for sandwiches if you're just eating regular. Um, you could also use it for uh, making wraps um, and uh, tacos like carnitas, like pork carnitas. And um, it's delicious, it's got a ton of flavor. And then if you guys want to use that bone to make uh, uh, bone broth or soups or anything like that, you could also use that because it's been roasted and it's cooked all the way through. And it'll add a nice smoky flavor uh, to your soups. So usually what I'll do is I'll cut all this meat and I'll use it, you know, for the next couple of days. And if I have any leftover, I'll actually um, freeze it sometimes and I'll use that bone for, uh, for soups. So there you have it, guys. That's Cuban uh, pork roast and it's basically done. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.